Good afternoon, Lace Jumpin' Up, John. This is many a true nerd and welcome to Horizon Forbidden West. And, uh, okay, so, me and the Horizon franchise, uh, we've got a bit of an odd relationship, which is, uh, on paper, I should have loved uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. A big, beautiful, open-world game where you got to fight robot dinosaurs. Okay, that there, that sounds like a good time. But for some reason, it just didn't quite click with me. But a lot of people absolutely loved it. So, right, here comes the sequel, previously on PlayStation, just made its way to PC. And I'm back to give it another go because... As I say, I feel like I ought to bloody love it, so right, let's dive in and see if this time I can get my head around it a bit better. Okay, you're joining me here about two hours into the game and uh, immediately, I think I may have solved the mystery as to why me and Zero Dawn didn't get on. Basically, the Horizon franchise seems to have made the decision to front load all of its tutorials. So, uh, the first two hours of the game are very linear. You're just going along a set path, learning all the narrative and mechanical information you're going to need for the rest of the game. And it's only now, two odd hours into the game, that I've actually been unleashed into, you know, a big open area where I actually get to go around and play and do whatever I want to do. And uh, I think this is where I went wrong with Zero Dawn, which is... Uh, I suspect I played the tutorial and then stopped playing before I actually got to the game bit of the game. So, right, that's one mystery solved. A lovely. Don't worry about missing the tutorial, by the way. I'll give you the short version right now. So, once upon a time, the world exploded. But don't worry, because some people figured the world might explode, and as a result, they came up with a plan, an automated terraforming system. So, in the event the world did explode, it would just be automatically terraformed back into something nice. Which is precisely why, yes, everything's all lovely and green and full of robots right now. The terraforming's done its job, and the robots are like automated caretakers. Though, admittedly, yes, now she knows that. Presumably, alloys should be not killing them, because she knows they're an important part of uh, the world being terraformed, but she kind of does anyway, I'm sure it's all fine. Oh, speaking of Alloy, by the way, the reason she's important is that she's a clone of the person who made the terraforming AI, which is significant because, uh, basically, it means she's the only person in the world uh, who can log in as an administrator when the system breaks. So, basically, that's what we're doing. We have to go to the Forbidden West and fix it, because it's broken again. Right, that seems to be the long and short of it. So, in the short term, we need to, like, go to the base of this valley and deal with an outbreak of uh, summing, summing, summing bad robots, because uh, until the bad robots are dealt with, uh, I can't make plot progress over here. But, like, screw that noise, I've got a giant valley to explore, let's go have some fun. Because, seriously, how cocking gorgeous is this game? This is stunningly beautiful. Right, let's go kill some robots, given a lot of this game it is about killing robots. And they are just beautifully designed too. But right, okay, combat basics. So, Aloy is very good at sneaking. All right, this game seems to be, in a way, kind of about stealthiness, scanning, and figuring out an intelligent approach to dealing with each enemy type. As part of that, yeah, she could go into her magic focus vision and analyze enemies in quite some detail, like, you know, figuring out elements they're weak to, as well as all sorts of exciting bits and pieces, like attacking them, highlighting the track they go along, because of being robots, they're very regular in their patrol patterns, so, right, this feels like a good way to introduce one thing Alloy can do. We're just going to tag you, buddy, and then, having tagged you, we're going to mosey over to this particular bush. And the reason we're moseying over here is because we know eventually he's going to, you know, come back over here. He saw me for a split second, but he's going to lose me in the long grass, so don't worry about it. There we go, he's chilled out, and yes, the reason why, you know, knowing the track is so important is because... Uh, stabby, stabby, stab, so long, you stupid loser. Now back into cover. Some of his friends might be a bit annoyed if they see that. But, you know, they're not going to see me. Everything's fine. But, and this is the bit I really do enjoy, by the way. These guys are made out of different parts. Some of which are detachable. In the event I just kill him, I get, like, you know, certain common loot off his body and not that much of it. But, if I actually, you know, don't go for the nice, easy, sneaky takedowns... Uh, and instead, uh, start, you know, uh, 
detaching components by shooting them, then they're gonna yield much better resources. So, uh, you know, tactically shooting bits off them, not always just going around being a coward doing sneaky stabs, uh, that's the way to play and... Uh, I quite like that. That's kind of cool, actually. That's a very fun, cool gameplay mechanic. So, okay, move on to the next. Looks like, yeah, there's three in total, and I'm pretty sure you, buddy, are going to come back over here. So what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to take down one more with a sneak attack. Then the final one, once he's, like, you know, nice and alone and whatnot, you're going to go down in a bit more of an interesting way, because... Uh, Yes, indeed, you buddy. You've seen your dead friend. That's all absolutely fine. Oh, well, just, you know, uh, figuring out what we want to do with you. Thank you. Highlight your tracks and maybe even consider, you know, highlighting a special part or whatnot. Here we go. Resource container. Just let him, you know, uh, calm down for a second. He'll get over his dead friends in just a moment. There we go. Calms down. Get out my bow. Slow down time, and in just a second, wait, wait. Okay, we'll go for your other weak point too. There we go. He's dead. Go for the weak spot, so targeting is important. Don't just blindly fire. So yeah, that just gets me a handful of trash. But you know, the bit we shot off him, the resource container, much, much better. Lovely. Such a lovely cool gameplay loop. I can see that being, yes, very, very compelling also. Okay, I even got the sound shell. Didn't mean to do that, but I kind of did because he was just, you know, roaring at me. And yeah, at this point, I could basically just go where I want, do what I want. I have uh, no idea what things are good or not, but that's a glowy green thing. Like, you know, that's got to be good. Lovely. I've got some gemstones. That's presumably good. So, okay, looking at the map, we've got ourselves uh, a fire fang horn and a mystery below it. Not sure whether, like, you know, a basic level 3 character ought to be thinking about taking on fire fanger horns, uh, but we'll give it a go, damn it! And when I say give it a go, what I mean is, you know, we're gonna sneak around, uh, scout it out, and see whether the game says, No, do not engage, you mad bastard! Because, you know, we can scan it, figure out whether it ought to be taken out or not. Week 2, I think that's like ice. Good. Also, chain reaction. Shoot it in the McJibbles and maybe it will, you know, explode or something. Okay, just give a quick scan. How many are we talking about here? I'm seeing two. If I could take out maybe one and then cocking run for it, that might be acceptable. Although also of note, right. These guys might possibly have done a bit of, uh, you know killing other creatures before I arrived. So, okay, I can, you know, loot their stuff. Okay, you don't patrol, which is unfortunate, because, yes, if you did, I could maybe uh, lay a trap that you would be guaranteed to walk into. So, right, we can't do that. Could we maybe sneak up behind you? Or is it maybe more sensible to, like, you know, just loot your scrap piles uh, and then GTFO? Possibly, yes, that last one, though. Oh, Okay, you may not have, like, you know, a patrol path, but if you see me for a split second, you're going to walk towards me. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, I've got a dumb plan here, and I do appreciate this game kind of, you know, rewards dumb plans and whatnot, so uh, I'm just going to pop a thing down here. Also, if we can, I'm going to try and uh, stab this guy up the arse. Can I stab you up the arse? I can give it a go! Oh, it did something. Right, now, now cooking run. Now cooking run and see if maybe I can bait it into my trap. So, okay, that's right. That's flipping right. Just get over to here. That's right. Straight in the old antlers and whatnot. That's right. There we go. 30. And, oh, the other one's getting closer. And there's also, right, well, that, that first one's almost dead. I hit the weak spot. Just take out one. Then we cocky GTFO for a second. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No. Oh, there we go. Right, now get down. I think the other one is uh, behind the rock. We've killed one straight away. Okay, you know what? That's fine. The other one is annoyed because I just killed his wife, but he'll chill out in a second. Okay, you know what? I'd like to apologize to the Horizon franchise. This is cocking excellence. 
Right, just go to distance, hit it in the lovely weak spots, the purple canisters. Uh, see if we can uh, shoot some of them off, if at all possible. I like this guy, by the way. He's just swimming in weak spots. Just, you know, everything on him is cocky, glowing, and weak. It's marvelous. There we go. A few more shots gets him down on the ground. Just need to craft arrows, but that's like instantaneous and uh, not a problem. A few more shots for you. Yeah, on this occasion, because we engaged him directly, we didn't sneak attack. We've shot a lot off him. So, okay, we should get hopefully some uh, good loot we can use down the line for various bits and pieces. Right, and now those guys are dead and we've got some good loot, good experience, etc. Okay. There was also mention of a mystery. Okay, it's a fair way higher up the cliff. So, right, to loop around in this direction. Oh, hang on. There's something going on here. So, all right, just a little bit of a, a lovely... Oh, I found a sunken cavern. Just going around and... Seriously, this game's bloody pretty. Also, um, right, um, alloy. I'm going to suggest we try and find some oxygen. At some point, is there oxygen up there? Really hope this. There we go. It's a convenient cave that's got plenty of oxygen in it. Good, 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 good. And okay, this might just be a good place to pick up a green shine, which is functionally money. Right. Use money to buy probably better stuff. And that unknown is right by the looks of it. Right below me. Hang about. I don't. Oh. Okay. I've found a secret thing. But by the sounds of it, I'm going to be needing a yes. So better like swimming gear or something. So I don't die. Right. And then just keep on keeping on. Or we come out the other end. So uh, right. We now know what's going on there. And uh, by the sounds of it. Okay. We might want to, you know, go shopping for some better diving gear if I can. I mean, I've now got, you know, special money. And there's definitely, yes, a town, a chain scrape just across the river. So, right, let's go do some shopping. Here we cocky go. Shops, workbenches, and people with green exclamation marks, meaning I need to, you know, go and be a protagonist in order to get stuff. Lovely. Here we go. This feels important. So, right. Probably best we get the hunter bow using different ammo types. That seems good, yes. Got loads of material for that. No trouble at all. Be flipping beautiful. So right, now we can use acid arrows. Right, acid can degrade armor, but more importantly, shoot acid with acid. That's how you do the detonation thing. Lovely. Okay, but that's all we can do for now because, right, the shops are a bit uh, locked. For the time being. Okay, if I go and like, you know, protagonist at some of these idiots with green exclamation marks, will you guys maybe like, you know, be willing to buy and sell and whatnot? What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of chain scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? It seems pretty simple, Alloy. It's a mine, it's collapsed. Go help. On the same side here, Olven. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, Drafiak. We all know it was the Carja who let the bristlebacks into the valley. Sent them straight through the gates of barren light. That is preposterous. Ignore me again! Why would we let dangerous machines into our own land? You mean the land that honest Osram laborers work tirelessly with no say in its governance? The land that should you sign the decree... Oh, you and that damned concession decree... ...would be managed by the people who actually live and work on it. See you up and about. Okay, so I think we found Olvund, and I'm not sure I like or trust him. For the time being, though, we're right. Clear out some local trouble, the bristlebacks, because that's what we need to do in order to, you know, make actual plot progress. So if I can help out this time while I'm doing it, all the better. Okay, so I'm currently level three. One of the quests to the south is, yes, level seven. Suggesting maybe don't go south just yet. Especially given, right, the local innkeeper wants me to just grab something from a scrounger side to right here. Then, just around the corner, there's the mine. Right, so just a fast travel over to, yes, that direction. 
And then all we need to do is, yes, clear out of these bastards. But I have upgraded my bow. I've upgraded my armor. You can't see me because I'm in grass right now. Let's just wait for him to uh, chill out. And as soon as he does, uh, we'll jump on him. Hit him with the sneak attack. That should be fine. And... Right, number one goes down. Straight back into the grass. Right, we can finish off a few of them nice and easy. Assuming that is... Uh, hello, Saxane. You're weak to acids. And I tell you what, how about we just uh, tag you, tag your track, tag everything. Go over to my acid arrows. Uh, line up a shot on you, buddy. And... Oh, now that'll cocky do, won't it? I think we just did uh, some good work right there. Lovely. Just, oh yeah. Now you're taking a lot of damage. Beautiful. And there's also more of them dotted around. But at this point, okay. Finish them off. Help myself out to all of this. And get back in the grass right. Would you, buddy? Appear to be, you know, busy for the time being, so how about we just uh, let you get on with your lovely, lovely grinding. And uh, there we go, pack complete. Right, just grab the last bit of a uh, yes, scrap that guy wanted me to gather. Marvellous. And if we're lucky, yeah, between the XP from the kills and the XP from that mission, there we go, dash of a courage completed, XP, skill points, etc, etc. So, right. We're now in a very, very good spot indeed. So only level 4, but yes, completing the mission got me an extra skill point on top of that. Right, well I do like my bow, so yes, increased a slow-mo time when I'm using the bow. Marvellous. Oh, and I tell you what, arrows raining down on my opponent sounds hilarious, so deep concentration. Even more cocking slow-mo, I love it. Okay, I was about to say, you know, round the corner to the mine and whatnot, but, um, kind of but notice a mysterious path leading up into what would appear to be, like, a mountain cave or something. So, uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going there instead. So, all right, buddy, just up the mountain trail. This feels like, you know, a good sort of direction to go if I want to, you know, get to a nice little high point or something. So just keep on a going on. Little scan will show me what we can and can't grab onto. One midnight bloom, all right? Might be able to, you know, dress myself up a bit fancy now I've come this way. Lovely. And even better, I think this is actually going to be a shortcut to get me down to the mine. Right? I've just come like, you know, the more intelligent way by mistake. Right, so into the mine we go. I'm guessing uh, things are... Oh, oh things don't miners. look good in here. Right, have a quick mosey round. Everything's going to be fine. Here we miners. go. Two lads trapped miners. underground. So, uh, I really hope you can swim, by the way, because that's kind of the only way out. Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. Should still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Oh, okay. give me five minutes. We'll see what we can do, lads. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast through the blockage. Okay, so we got some platforming to do here. And in particular, right, how are we going to navigate all of this nonsense? Here we go. One ladder can get us up a tiny bit further, but the whole place is, um, you know, slightly falling apart. One sprint along here should get me most of where I need to go. Together with a handful of uh, jumps, no worries. Alloy is uh, very good at the old jumping. Yes, bows and platforming. That's what she's good at, damn it. And then... 
Right, tiny bit of extra trouble. But I've got no cocky grass to hide in on this occasion. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? You are unfortunately, yeah, weak to fire, not to acid. So my new acid arrows aren't going to be much use against you. But we still might be able to, you know, take you out with my new exciting sexy bow. I could uh, just go into you, give you a proper scanner here. Your head is good, your eyes are weak point, lovely. Just tag you right there, buddy. No trouble. No trouble at all. Wait for him to go up, which he sometimes does. He, like, you know, uh, decides to just have a loopsy round, eh? When that happens, we'll nail him in the eye. And just for safety, top up the arrow amount. All right, buddy, up you come. And come on. Okay, that was fine-ish, but oh, that'll do. Right, one goes down. And he never alerted the others. Good, 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 good. And on top of that, you, buddy, are walking away from me. So, uh, right, now we're getting into... Oh, hang on there a little bit, 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 little bit. Okay, we're going to get at least one. I suspect the other one is kind of on to me, though. You know what? That's fine. One... Oh, look at that. One arrow straight in the head. Instant kill. Nice. Right, that gets us round to the explosives. Detonate them. Do we not want to, like, I don't know, put them where they're supposed to be first? Or, you know what? Sure. Detonate them. Why not? Just, like, set them off and then cocky die for it. It's all going to be fine, presumably. Alloy, I'm not convinced this is. No, seriously, what was my plan at this point? Like, what am I blowing up precisely? I've no idea where these explosives are, but... Right, okay, me and Alloy, very kindred spirits, apparently. We see an explosive, we detonate it. Well, you know what? The room seems to be drained, so... Okay, job done by just randomly setting off explosives. Marvellous. And that gets me a level 5, a skill points, etc, etc. So, right. That there, that was worth doing. And go on then, let's have that hilarious high volley ability. Lay traps faster. Good, 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 good. And just in case you get into trouble, faster healing. So here we go, if I want to, blimey, just uh, lay down a series of uh, arrows on a pig. I'm sorry, pig, you were just basically for demonstration purposes, but okay, we can now do that. That's got its own, like, you know, special attack meter down the bottom right. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm strong enough, I'd say, to tank on a bristle back, whatever that is. Though, um, right, so funny old thing about me not really playing the first game. Alloy does on occasion just shell, oh my goodness, it's you, and I've no idea who these people are. So, um, right, today we're going to meet Erend, who, like, presumably Alloy knew from the first game. I don't know, but, like, we're going to help him take down the bristlebacks. Oh, and hello, Sexy. On the way, we've got right. Acid bristleback. Do not take on those bastards with my acid arrow. That's not going to work. Got it. Ah, but what is going to work is right. Electricity. Electricity is what they were weak to, I just saw. So, right, I'm guessing Erend is going to have been smart enough to lay out the correct type of trap. Marvellous. So, all right, buddy, I see ya. I see you over there. Just to shoot your thing off. And now, please come and investigate. I'm right here, nearby to, you know, a tripwire. And seriously, I'm over here. Just... Well, okay, fine. I guess we'll just shoot him with arrows. Seriously, though, I would like you to... There we go. Right over here. Right over here. Walk into the tripwire, please, buddy. All right? It's badass, and I want you to do it. He just teleported through the tripwire, didn't he? Right, you know what? I'm just going to shoot you with arrows. Well, bare minimum, yeah. The chap I just helped out has now given me a shot caster, so I can now lay my own. Though, admittedly, as I say, was a tiny bit on the useless side, given... I swear that enemy just teleported straight through the damn thing. Oh, and hello, Saxy. Right. My focus is saying my friend went in this direction. There's acid on the ground and I'm a hearing chaos up ahead. So, okay. I'm guessing we've just found my boyfriend, friend, whoever the cock errand is. And he's going to need some assistance. So, right. Time to test out my new and improved bow abilities. Now this... This is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. <laughs> no boring mid-afternoon patrols. 
Yeah, but right now you're only taking on like basic dogs. I'm guessing in just a second uh, the nasty lads are showing up. Just the hammer. Just the fight. Aloy? Aaron! And there we cocky go. Right, time to take on whatever the cock you are precisely. Okay, before we do anything, get into cover, scan it to make sure we understand what we're looking at here. And there's more than one too. Right. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. That's right, I'd forgotten about that. Thanks for the reminder. So, right, grinder discs. We can take them off, etc., etc. Acid canister. Explode them. Chain reaction. Tag part. Tag target. If you go down first, that's got to be the most sensible option. So, okay, that's what we're aiming for. But, there's two. Okay, go for this. Line her up and, yeah, I can see them on the other one. Kind of want you to, like, please stop walking towards me. I don't appreciate you walking towards me, actually. I might be able to get both of them in rapid succession. So, okay, just a slow... In. And. In. And. Next over. Come on. A bit more. There we go. That's got to be a... Oh, that feels like a cocking something or another. Uh, right. Maybe just go for literally anything at this point. And John, that's not your bow. But that's good. That's good. That's good. Go for another. And. Oh, now that's pretty cocky good. I think that even took down the dogs as well. Okay, you know what? That was badass, and I appreciate this game. Okay, now we know the basics. We've just got to finish them off. And by the looks of it, right. Something's going on here, but now we know how to deal with them. Just a handful more of you guys. Uh, no, seriously, just just use uh, just use acid arrows. It's definitely acid arrows uh, that you want to be doing. So, uh, right, just go into slow-mo mode and bang! Right, that should be you hopefully about to explode, right? Yep, that feels like you're about to explode and... Bang! Did we get you two? Hang on, I'm watching whether we hit the one tanks machine. there. And come on, just, just hold still. Hold still for one cocking. Well, you picked a good moment to roar, didn't you? Right, hopefully you're about to... Oh, no, 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 no. Right, um... Maybe we just, like, you know, put a few normal arrows on him as well. And no, get out the cocking way. He's doing acrobatics. Right, John. John, John, John. Slow it down. Seriously, just, just hold still for one cocking second while I try and deal with your tanks. There we go. I'm pretty sure we caused an explosion there. That's going to be good. Three more to go. Three more to go. Three more to go. That is not what I was planning to use, but you know what? Seems to have slowed him down a little bit. That's a weak section. Just take out you. Take out... No, dive out the way. We got a little dodge roll, and you are in trouble. Bear in mind, yeah, we might want to, you know, help ourselves to some of these tanks. So shooting some of them off too. Right, one goes down. I think one explodes over there. Back over to acid arrows and just slow it down. Hang on, hang on. Wait, those feel like those aren't acid tanks. I feel like you might be a different one. Wait, just, just load you up for a second here. Oh, you're fire. Right, okay. That's fine. You can just go down to, well, you're acid. So that's good to bare minimum. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Take the wrong moment to wait. Also, no, Joe, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. Yeah, do some healing. Thank you. Right, um, just hold still and gotcha. That's going to cause an explosion. Marvellous. The fire one, we can't do that to. We can just, like, you know, take off his armor piece by piece. Level six, which feels good. Knock off his tusks, perhaps. Knock off the armor. I feel like you're in trouble, buddy. There. And I'm pretty sure we've just cleared the door. Job cocking done. Once again, I'd like to apologize to this game and indeed this franchise. This is cocking excellence. Meaning finally, right, the shops are open and we can start, you know, buying a more specialized gear. And also way stronger bows, but to get them right, we're going to need to go hunting for the right components. So, yes, indeed. I suspect at this point we could upgrade our weapons, hunt for components, open up the map, but, um, right. I would say, I think you get the point, and so do I. This is Horizon Forbidden West, and uh, 
It's good. It's really, really cocky good. But I don't hold it against my younger self that I didn't enjoy the original because uh, kicking off the game with like two or three hours of just linear tutorial, that's a ballsy choice. Like, it pays off because then you can just toss the player out in the world and let them have fun. But okay, once you get past the tutorial, as I say, oh, uh, this is bloody good stuff. So, uh, Right, we might well dig a bit deeper into this, bit of a live stream or whatnot at some point. Let me know if you'd be interested, and we shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd. And this has been the excellent Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Touch it. Okay, that that's uh, that's too much, too much fire. I was trying to talk to these individuals, but I accidentally assassinated one of them instead. The real treasure is the actual physical treasure that exists inside treasure chests. I literally have no idea what I just did, but everyone seems really happy about it, so great.